Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys about QNAP NAS and cloud synchronization. Don't get me wrong, I love NAS. I talk about NAS all the time and I do genuinely believe that NAS is considerably safer than any cloud platform as well as being a great deal faster and a lot more configurable. But there has to be something said for cloud-based services. Third-party cloud platforms like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and more, all of these services do have their advantages. One and probably the most important of all is the fact that they are off-site. Whenever you do have a network attached storage device, a QNAP NAS, for example, all your data may be on it and maybe you want to have another layer to your backup strategy. And the idea is having that second backup um, item in the same location as the first isn't great sense. You need to have it somewhere else and that requires having access to another internet connection, another building and more. And that's why third party cloud support is very, very useful. Because with third party clouds, again, like the ones we've mentioned, including Amazon S3 and more, this allows you to completely synchronize individual folders or entire volumes to those cloud platforms and therefore have a copy of your data off-site. Now you can encrypt that data so no one can get hold of it and the good news is there's large levels of encryption and faster encryption levels on a lot of modern NAS these days and QNAP is definitely not an exception. If anything they're one of the best out there. Now in order to synchronize with cloud platforms the tool you're going to want to use is Hybrid Backup Sync or HBS3. It's completely free and available right now in the App Center from QNAP. Select that application and this allows you to start creating synchronized areas of storage on the NAS that can synchronize with areas of cloud storage, both one way or both. So we'll skip the little tutorial there on the screen right now. We'll let it pop up next time and we can take a good look at the hybrid backup sync user interface. Now, one of these days I will make a whole video overviewing this entire software, but for now, let's have a look at the different kinds of backup. We can back up um, to a destination folder on the NAS or remotely, as well as the other way around, a one-way sync or a two-way sync allowing complete synchronization and identical copies of files and folders. There are client applications that you can synchronize the QNAP with your host laptop or PC, but or it's a PC or Mac, but what we really want to look at today is how to synchronize with those third-party cloud platforms, because with so much free online storage available, it gives you the option of storing some precious gigabytes of data of irreplaceable data, encrypted, zipped up, perfectly safe, and on a cloud platform where it's always gonna be there in the worst case scenario. So we're gonna select a sync job for this, and we're going to sync the NAS with the cloud. This gives us the option to sync one way or both. So let's sync with the cloud. First, let's try synchronizing from the NAS to the cloud. So these will be files on the NAS that we're synchronizing with the cloud. And then what we can do is select which one of the cloud providers we want. So let's start with an easy one. Let's go straight to Google Drive. Now with Google Drive, you will of course need to have a Google account in place. We've been utilizing the NAS Compares Gmail account for a while now, so let's carry on using it for this. If you haven't already logged in, then the device will invite you to enter your login credentials here. Click allow and then the application will add Google Drive as an option. On top of that, we can now select another synchronized platform. So say we add Dropbox this time and once again, it's gonna ask us if we can allow QNAP's hybrid backup sync tool to use our Dropbox. Once again, let's go ahead with it. I believe there is two gig of data available on this account. Okay, so we've done two layers of backup. Why don't we go for a third? Now we're going to install OneDrive, and it's that straightforward that if you've got a lot of cloud platforms, you can pretty much kind of micro add them all up to some significant storage. And there's a full list of platforms available to QNAP users to take advantage of along the bottom of the screen. So now we've got these three accounts um, registered with the device, let's carry on. So for now, we're using the Google Drive account that we created just now, or we synchronized just now. We select the source folder, which is a folder on the NAS. From there, we select that folder that we want to synchronize with our online platform. I'm gonna go for this download folder. And then the destination folder is gonna be one of the ones on that Google Drive account. It doesn't really matter which one we do, but I'm just gonna randomly pick any old photo. I'm gonna go with Q files. So now we have got 
the, the sync job between our NAS and our cloud platform here. We can choose whether we want the synchronization to be immediate or action whenever we need to. For now, I'm not gonna let it action quite yet. Clicking add, we'll now add this task to the list. And then on top of that, we can go to advanced settings to set down a schedule for when it happens. So we can have a continuous weekly, monthly, one-off or whenever we see fit. Alternatively, we can set up policies to make sure that only certain kinds of files kick in or at certain times or certain file types, as well as a filter to make sure that certain parameters need to be met for a file to be backed up to the cloud. And if you've got limited cloud space, you will take advantage of that filter in a big way. Lastly, you've got background options for how the software should behave in the event of abnormalities, such as files not being sent or a network problem. And that's about it. If we click apply, this will now create our sync job of the QNAP NAS all the way through to our area of Google Drive space. And again, because we've registered those other sync jobs already, we can now try an alternate. Now we can sync from the cloud to our local NAS instead. All of our accounts are still here. We can use OneDrive, Dropbox. But for now, let's have a look at that Google Drive one again. We click Next. And from here, we should have a bunch of folders in our destination um, our destination on the QNAP. So this is where the files are going to. So let's send it to that download folder again. And then on the cloud platform, let's choose a folder from here. Let's go for Video. And again, the same options apply with regards to completely customizing the synchronization job between the cloud and the NAS. We click add. We could have it synchronized now if we want, but we won't for a second because it will slow down proceedings with such a busy network. We click apply and boom. Now we've got two ways in which we can back up. And again, these jobs, you can really focus on a great many ways in which you can synchronize to QNAP NAS with other platforms. One of our future videos will be concerning USB backups, the versatility, the advantages, and the disadvantages. We've already covered R-Sync, and there's a bunch of other ways to go. But I'm gonna start these off now and start wrapping up this video. And we can set these up on a schedule whenever we see fit. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did enjoy it, click like below so it helps me continue to make these videos. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.